สวัสดีค่ะทุกทุกคน and welcome to Nichi Han's channel. Today I would like to share my experience how I can get into the National University of Singapore or NUS, the top university in Asia and the number 11 in the world. And the degree that I am going to study is a master degree of data science and machine learning. It sounds difficult, yes, it is. It's not easy at all, and it was very competitive. It was very excited like, since I received an offer until right now because I didn't graduate from a top university in Thailand and during the interview with the professor from NUS he didn't recognize my university at all even the name so I was a little bit of like nervous but finally I made it I made he choose me so I was very proud of myself before I dig down into the detail I need to roll back to 10 years ago when I was in high school. I studied at Rajini Bon School, a school that offered the Thai program. So I had around like four or five hours to study English, but it was my most favorite subject. And I, I was um, quite good at math, um, physics, biology. So I decided to uh, study in the Faculty of Engineering and the School of Computing. Uh, at Cassette Science University and one day I heard that the mechanical engineering had an exchange program with the universities in the UK but the computer engineering didn't have so I was like why 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 I, I want to go to UK too since then I tried to push my school to have an international um, student exchange program and finally, I made it. I had a chance to go study in the UK during my fourth year and complete my dissertation about biocomputing. Uh, at that time, I was interested in like, how biology can mix up with the computing, so I chose this a few to study. But it was really, really difficult. I passed, but I didn't receive a good score. I had a part-time job as well in a Thai restaurant so I had more opportunity to meet with the local um, people to talk with them to listen to their accent and to practice my English skill after I finished my dissertation in the UK I flew back to Thailand to uh, receive the graduation uh, at Kasei Sai University my GPA was uh, 3.65 five out of four uh, with the first owner. I would say that with the first owner in Thailand and um, with the university like Chulalongkorn, uh, Thammasat or Mahilong University, if you receive the first owner, it won't be equal to the first owner in the university in the UK. You will get like around the second owner for them. I think in Singapore it was the same. I guess, I guess, if you want to get into the top university and you are studying in Thailand, I would say you must get the first uh, owner. Apart from academic background, a professional background also very important for you as well. If you just graduate from the university and then apply for the postgraduate degree, then you must use your degree. Your GPA must be very, very high. Let's say if you can do like 4 out of 4, then applying for a top university, you might get into that university easily and easier than me because my GPA was not that high compared to other people around the world and your university ranking. So professional background will be another factor for, for them to choose you. Every year when we have the performance um, evaluation, I was kind of like at the top level almost, I think all the time that I have been working there for three and three months. If you calculate it from the salary increase, um, why I need to talk about salary increase? Because during the time that I apply uh, for many top university, it asks for your salary. So during three years, I have changed two, three positions, but in, uh, in the same company. My salary increase was 13%, 20%, and around 15%. But I didn't know that it was like important factor that they used 
to think that you are good enough to come and study with them. And if you are the hard working person, you will be definitely go very, very fast like me. More than that, you need to be uh, friendly and be sincere to everybody. Because after you uh, leave the company and you intended to apply for the university, you need some person to write recommendation letter for you. I have been working for three years already. So uh, at NUS, I use one academic letter and two professional letter. If you don't really know like uh, any professor because you already left the school for a long time, I would say that using professional letter is like okay. And everything is like, you know, like flexible. If you if you graduate from the school for a long time, I think the university will definitely understand you that, okay, uh, the professional recommended is like more updated for you. Another important factor is the English test. The NUS require that you need to get a six or above uh, of IO score. I can't remember about the TOEFL score, but you can use TOEFL score as well. For Thai people, don't uh, misunderstand the TOEFL and the TOEIC. Uh, that is for applying a job and you need to understand some um, professional English uh, communication. My score, I received 7.0, which is like, oh, I was like, I oh, feel my English is like, um, good enough to uh, study with them. Another factor is you. Mm. Is your SOP or statement of purpose? You need to write one and a half A for paper. What you need to write in your SOP is why you are fascinating in the field that you are going to study. I like computer because during a high school I did blah blah blah. During undergrad I did blah blah blah. Uh, in my SOP, I wrote uh, about the experience that I pushed the, the, the school, the Kasesa University, to have the international program with the university in the UK as well. I wrote the reason that why you want to study overseas. The writing will show the strong purpose, the strong emotion that you are doing so far because of this, because you are really, really want to improve your skill and don't forget to mention in the SOP that after you finish the degree what you would like to do don't go like I want to study because I want to get a higher salary trying to write something that is impactful for example I want to study the data science especially in the health informatics my dad and my mom they uh, they were the medical staff, so I understand the medical system, the healthcare system since I was young. And then I see a lot of opportunity to bring the knowledge from Singapore and back to Thailand. So you see, like it's very impactful, right? And think big, trying to think big. Don't think about yourself, think about beyond that. Think about the impact that you are going to do for other people, like for younger generation, for your country, uh, for or for your business. The last factor that is very important money. Actually I don't want to talk about this but it is an important factor as well. I would say that if you don't have enough money to fund yourself for further education you must find a scholarship. It can be a scholarship from Singapore government or it can be a scholarship for the Thai government. You can go and browse this information in NUS website or NTU uh, website for, for Nanyang NTU. For my course, um, the change fee is over 53,000 Singapore dollars or it equals around to 1 million and 1.1 million baht. Mm. Uh, it doesn't include the cost of living. The, the most important thing for my life that I invested is the education. It's not only a degree, but like if I um, register for an online course on the web, I also like need to pay. Um, I'm, I am okay to pay for uh, knowledge and education. 
but don't think that um, one point one million baht that you are going to invest gonna be like is not worth enough. I would say like the top university won't let you down. That is what I believe. Mm. So after you graduate from the top university like this, it is easier for you to find a job, and of course your salary increased um, definitely, and also have more opportunity to work globally. And you can go anywhere that you want. So that is all of the information and my experience to share you guys about like how can I get into um, National uh, University of Singapore. I am trying to share my experience further uh, when I reach to Singapore as well. Just follow me. If I have anything else that I would like to share, I will try my best to do the video clips. And if you have any question about the academic uh, thingy or NUS or the application process about your university in Singapore or university in the UK, um, you can message me anytime or um, just drop me uh, in the comment and I will reply you back. And I don't want to go to NUS alone. So this time, uh, this year, if you are applying for NUS, just let me know um, that you already get an offer or maybe we can be and you know a housemate and uh, we can go and chit chat together. Right now I still don't don't know anybody in the NUS. Um, so ping me if you are there. Uh, for those who are applying any university that you are uh, you would like to study, I hope you pass and all requirements, I hope you pass the interview and all the tests, IELTS, or TOEFL, GRE, GMAT, I hope you pass and we'll see uh, each other again in the next uh, video, okay? Uh, don't forget to subscribe me and press like um, for me so I can have like, you know, more energy to do the next video, okay? Bye-bye! And so the car.